No body cameras, no task force. This is a decision by the Atlanta Police Department to pull out of all of those federal task force missions that don't allow body cameras. It was unheard of, at least in Georgia. But the Reveal investigator Rebecca Lindstrom has raised some questions about the federal government's stance on the cameras since the death of Jamarian Robinson, who was shot 59 times. Now, one district attorney is questioning the Department of Justice as well. Jamarian Robinson's death has grabbed headlines across the country. You hit me gunshots? But his mother, Monteria, says she is still waiting for the full story to be told. It's like they're on a hunt. The Department of Justice, which oversees the U.S. Marshals, quickly cleared officers of any wrongdoing. But I think that people. But nearly three years after the shooting, Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard still is not convinced. We've been asking for all of the evidence regarding their investigation, and they have systematically denied us the opportunity to receive that information. After the shooting, the reveal raised questions about their policy against the use of body cameras. And it starts recording. The DOJ has given $70 million in grants to local law enforcement departments across the country to buy the cameras. But it forbids those same police departments from using them while assisting on its operations. It wasn't until this year Atlanta police decided without that transparency, it would no longer participate. Quite frankly, I've never seen anything as um, horrific as uh, this scene. Private investigator hey, hey, Rashid McCall took us back to the townhouse where Robinson died. It was McCall that found two more bullets under the blood-soaked carpet, fired straight down at the top of the stairs where Robinson's body was found. More than likely, those slugs came from a weapon called an MP5. But according to interviews with the GBI made public for the first time, none of the officers report firing any shots while standing upstairs. And according to police, after throwing that flashbang, Robinson was unresponsive. But listen. McCall believes that was the flashbang. And 20 seconds later, more gunfire. It's been really hard. My heart is broken, you know, and, and I'm going to continue to fight until I get justice for him. You know, Rebecca, this really sounds like hypocrisy. Here you have the federal government, DOJ, giving millions of dollars to these local agencies to wear the cameras, but why can't they be used during those federal missions? Perhaps they're trying to protect the identity of maybe undercover agents. I don't know. That's the frustration because they really won't say. But if that is the reason, we've shown in other stories that there is redaction software that can blur out those faces should that video have to be released to the public. Yeah, so what's next in the case? Paul Howard says he has already started lobbying for a congressional investigation into this and other shootings by U.S. Marshals. And he says one way or the other, he is going to take this case to the grand jury. All right. Thanks, Rebecca.